Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach Perforce. Yes, sir. So, what is Perforce? So, basically, uh, this is a company name. Okay. Yes, sir. And this is based out in Manipur, uh, in yes, USA. Sir. Yes, now sir. they have a lots of dif different different tools they developed yes so sir. one of the one of the tools they call it perforce that means company name okay. is also perforce and uh, the product one of their product is also perforce so how come so basically perforce was the first of their product which is become okay. very popular at that time so that's the reason we started calling perforce as a product also and perforce yeah, as a uh, company name also okay yeah. So they have a product which is for the version control software, which I'm teaching you. Yes, they sir. have a product for web-based repository management also. They have a product for developer collaboration also, application lifecycle management also, and agile planning software also. So many products they have it, and they sell it this product uh, currently under the the brand name which is called Helix and Helix. Handsoft. Yeah. Okay. So. You will see the company name is Pro, uh, Helix. A uh, Perforce. Helix, yeah. Product name was also Perforce, but now they are selling under Helix. Okay. Yeah. So now, if you see that, what are the products they have? <clears throat> Look at this. So yes, this sir. is a complete software development lifecycle. So here, the one I'm trying to teach you is Helix Core. Okay. Oh. Helix Core that is the important product which we use uh, for this so if you see yes, that sir. helix core we have a uh, multiple features uh, I'll, I'll anyways i'll cover that one i'll install the helix, helix core server but they have uh, other products also like helix forget helix swam helix team hub handsoft helix alm helix qac so the one which we are focusing is core Helix score is equal to the perforce which you are talking about. Okay. Okay. So look at this here. They have a product for planning, for create, for build, for verification, and for tracking. So they have a multiple products for it. <clears throat> so primarily Helix LM, which is basically for end-to-end -end application lifecycle management. Okay. And soft, which is for the uh, agile, ma agile agile product project and product management solution uh, helix qna qac is basically static code analyzer for c and c++ uh, okay. helix team hub is basically for hosting and collaborating the git repository uh, okay. helix for git which store the git repo in helix core for enterprise sc sc scale and helix core is the product which you are talking about is called perforce also okay so in our session we'll focus on the helix helix core the one which you want to learn so yeah. what is helix core then so helix core is basically version control system version control system means uh, we modify the files uh, we as a team individual and all today tomorrow day after next week next month so basically whatever the modification has been made on the source code we want to keep a track of it uh, keep a track of means we want to know who was the person who modified the code where exactly the, the codes are when it was modified why the changes were made where exactly all these things so all these answers you want to know uh, for the source code changes and for that we would like we we are using helix core so it's one of the product which is for versioning the source code so version binary files in a minute scale scale without limits secure code with mfa achieve seamless code review do with do it all with helix core and it's a free up to the five users users okay, okay. yeah so helix lm which i said application lifecycle management it's a good alm tool helps uh, the application lifecycle management for your product the best alm tool gives you the end-to-end -end, uh, traceability across your life cycle uh, and so on so this is basically for alm management uh, we have uh, 
uh, LX management again divided into three part. One we call it a Helix Re RM release man requirement management, then Helix TCM test case management and Helix IM issue management. So again, they have a divide into their software into multiple part. Yep. Okay, Team Hub. So if you know the GitHub, probably you can correlate this. So okay. it's a uh, it's like a GitHub. The but the beauty is uh, in a GitHub you can store only the Git repository, but here okay. you can have SBN repository also, Mercurial also. You can have a Docker registry also. Uh, you what can is MVN repository, sir? MVN means M SVN or MVN? Which you say? SVN, sir. SVN. SVN. So see, we need a tool for uh, storing the version of source code. Okay. okay. So that is there from this re this tool tool requirement is not a new. Is there from ages? Okay. So the earliest tool which got introduced for the version control system was uh, uh, RCS. That's okay. 1970s or something. After that, we got CVS. 1980s okay. plus you got a CVS 1990s plus we got a SVN and 2000 okay. onwards we got a git sometime mercurial okay. is also there so these are the okay. software which I said uh, CBS SVN git and all it's under uh, it's towards the open source category now okay. paid software which you also had like one of these perforce which you call it a core and then we had a clear case. We have a mercurial now it's become free. Uh, we had a clear case also TFS. We had it. So many softwares were there. Okay. okay. So Helix team hub improves collaboration for teams of all sides from nimble startup to large global team. The intuitive web interface empower teams to innovate more quickly on projects that span multiple repos and different repos types. So here the repos can be Git, SVN, Mercurial, Docker, uh, Maven, IV, and mm -hmm. many different types of you can you can have it. So the the team hub you can use for creating a repo, not only for source code, but for binaries also like Maven repo and IV. So that's one product which we have hands off hands off is for agile tool for speed and power and insight basically if you want to practice agile scrum kanban and all stuff like that so this is one of the best suitable product for you so now here we have one more product which we discuss helix for git so helix for git is basically uh what happens uh uh, the beauty is like see organization like your yours is a gaming company, right? So gaming yes, company or some company uh, They focuses on the security. Okay. Yeah, uh, so they love perforce. They love helix Okay, yeah. but Developer loves git because the git is basically you developer get lots of control for branching merging committing okay. the code without you know approval and all stuff, stuff like that so git loved by developers helix or perforce loved by uh, organizations Resistance. so that is where the helix for git has come whereas okay. what is happening uh, basically management in terms of managing the repository you get okay. all the features of helix actually but you can use as a, a developer can use that repository as a git okay. repo so that okay. is the the you know you can say two options together so helix oh. for git is a new type of depot depot we call it in uh, is a repo as actually in perforce or helix we call it a depot so it leverages the power of scale of the helix server which i'll set it up and lets you manage git repo native natively even better okay. helix for git is easy to implement without changing your existing tool set that means you don't have to change developer still use the get uh, administrate still use the perforce server i mean helix server and uh, all the features in terms of security and all everything gets so helix when helix for get and helix core is combined it can scale without a limit can handle large binary assets unlike a git lfs okay okay so this is something which has been 
used. This combination empowered developer teams to use Git at a massive scale. Okay, so developers yeah. still using the Git, but basically it's a backend. It's stored at at Helix server, Helix core. So we can get into the discussion later on about this. Helix core, yes, this is something which I'm going to teach you. Uh, what makes up for force version control system? You call call it Helix core. You call it Helix. You call it Perforce. That means you are talking about these software. So in Helix okay. Core, we have Helix Core server. Okay. So mind okay. it here. In a Git, we have a distributed architecture. That means multiple repos. Okay. But but in Helix, in Helix, we have a server and client model. Okay. So server and client yes. model is used is here. So here, yes, we have a server, and then we connect to the server using client we have a plugins which using that you can integrate the helix with some other uh, software uh, we have a swam also where we can review our code and then helix for git which i just now discuss about it which will help you to manage the code uh, store the code at a helix core server but use from the front end you can use as a repo so like that make sense okay. Yes, sir. So these are the five software which I'll be going to teach you. Yes, sir. Okay, so there is a one another product which Helix is offering uh, is Helix QAC. Why use static code analyzer? So QAC basically is a static code analyzer. If you have heard about it, like a sonar queue, you can say something like that. But it's main, mainly for uh, C and C++, which has been used. Okay. okay so helix core what are the features we have uh, so yeah we have a uh, features where you can version source code and digital assets together okay so helix core makes it easy to maintain a single source of truth store everything everything means code images binaries everything from source code to graphics to test script and artifacts in one repository and that okay. is that repository where you store that is managed by helix core server okay. okay so yes flexible branching so yes i'll show you that how can we branch it uh, branch uh, this one create a multiple branches and work on the branches then you merge with the main branch okay so helix core uses a branching structure called streams okay this is streams streams let you organize your code lines and implement policies across branches so the conceptually we call it a streams here and but theoretically at a you know general terminologies we call it uh, branches so create a dedicated stream for specific task a uh, task it can be bug fixing new releases you know uh, so something like that from release and innovation to back end and front end code so that's the second feature advanced replications replications means yes if you want to create a high availability and uh, uh, you have a teams which is distributed across the multiple geographies and you want to you know ask you want you are expecting everyone should work together using helix so yes it has a very stable uh, product uh, so Hel helix core sophisticated uh, caching and replication technology lets you global team innovate at universal speed and scale so that is the features is there compliance uh, audit and compliance so yes uh, here you have a comprehensive traceability for rapid compliance with helix core you get complete change history uh, of all the digital assets from the source code to binary files generate per files access log to meet regulatory compliance without sacrificing speed or flexibility and huge visualizations uh, tool for quickly discover the source and change uh, of uh, history of the change ip protection yes you get an ultimate control over your users and ips who's accessing your repository 
what they are doing it from which ip they are coming getting a request from everything you have a productions uh, and e enable for alex core and on top of that yes you can integrate with any number of tools under the devops and it will help you in this so these are the primary features of helix core and that is what so yeah these are the feature these are the components uh, we have server client and so on so let's understand this so server helix core server uh, when you look at the executables still it's a p4d it's not renamed actually i need to check the latest version though so helix core p4d p4d means that's a file name of daemon which runs your server okay per force d as i said right the old yes, name sir. was per force so they have a p4d for server and p4 for client simple so helix core store and manage access access to version files and artifacts and support support a, a large scale ci cd workflows and track user operation with a fine grained permissions audit logs and multi factor authentication so that is a server now what is ci cd we... sir ci cd means continuous integration and deployment so if okay, you want okay. to set up a ci cd then it will help you per force server okay. will help you now sure. p4b so p4b is basically client which have to installed in your desktop and client will connect to the server and then you will work on the day to day activities like adding a file deleting a file modifying the files and all the stuff like that and then branching merging so everything you do on the server but using the client p4b client so over the network p4b client will talk to the p4 server and get your work done okay so this is the p4 uh, p4v was a visual client p4 is a client uh, command line so both are client but one is a visual client v for visual and um, v for visual and then p4 means it's a command line client okay so this is something which we have a broker what is a broker so basically uh, you want uh, you know uh, you want uh, some of the uh, servers which you want to set up uh, uh, in the certain locations where you want to emphasize some policies like means like means read only or writable or something like that so helix broker or earlier we can we call it a p4 broker enable you to implement local policies in your purpose environment so you can restrict the commands that can be executed by uh, the client using the broker so if you let's say if you want certain brokers to be used only for read access then you can set up a broker and uh, do it so that we'll discuss about it proxy server uh, yes if you cannot connect it to proc uh, uh, pro perforce server uh, so you can use a proxy for connection so helix proxy server p4p provide a fast local access to virgin file at a remote site uh, now p4p uh, of off, offload file transfer work from helix core uh, and thus share merge it's for the merging between the two branches uh, this is utility which you call a p4 merge three-way merging and side by side file comparison tool uh, this primarily for merging it's a u tool which can be used for merging purpose okay so these are the other utilities also we have uh, like uh, like we have uh, uh, like we have a p4 eclipse p4 vs p4 get p4 connect uh, you know um, p4 exp and p4 thumb and stuff like that. okay so any questions so far have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching